Hey, I have a new uh, feature for you. Chili Pepper now has SVG import. You will notice when you load the Tiny G staging, I will eventually deploy this to the Tiny G workspace. There's a new menu here, Chili Pepper logo SVG file. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click it to show you what it does. And lo and behold, there's an SVG file. It opens up the SVG to G code. Uh, it just sort of auto toggles the SOM. So you can actually drag G code files in. And then if we're almost gonna like mimic what the um, opening logo looks like, the standard uh, logo file, I'm just gonna do that and then I'll do a, a little look at the G code we'll do a milling on it um, actually we'll just yeah we'll do milling on it I'll show you how the laser works we'll just do a one, you know negative one millimeter cut we will send the G code to the workspace turn off SVG import and there we have it um, you'll see that this is actually one millimeter below the surface uh, that's Kind of hard to tell. Uh, low, but it is this uh, Z of four millimeter. So that is uh, how that works. But let me drag in a sample file here. So, for instance, I've been working on where is this? This file, and wanting to uh, laser cut this. So what you can do on this one is back on the rendering you could actually say a dashed cut because I want the laser to kind of turn on and off and then you can adjust the point spacing and notice as I'm doing that that you're getting sort of dashed lines the problem though is that you lose a little bit of the shape if you go too much um, so I'm going to just adjust it you know, see how that display updates um, to, there you go, it's pretty much the shape I'm after. But then I also need to have this one be left aligned, and I need it to be really only about 20 millimeters high. Oh, we'll left align that again, and then we'll zoom in. And that's pretty much what I want, although I actually need to nudge it a little bit more to the left so that there's some spacing. I'm going to be rendering a font to the right of the um, y-axis there. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I will go over to the G-code and make sure that it's on laser mode. I'm going to do M3, and I want 10% I want power. And the feed rate, actually, during the lasering, I want, like thousand and that should do it just to check that G code yep the spindle turns on at 0 0.1 the feed rate wait sorry I want a thousand okay that looks good and we'll send the G code to workspace we'll turn this off and there is our lasering so that's pretty nice now uh, let's run the simulator on that that will go on off. The green again, those those are the G0 moves. The laser is technically off during the G0 moves. It's only on during the G1 moves. We'll speed that up. Follow the path and looks good. Um, so then just to give you an example more on this SVG import, let's just say we we uh, you know surf the web a little bit. So I just was um, surfing the web looking for some some different files uh, and found this one downloaded it and it came out as this doily bottom let's drag that in and presto look at that now for this one we probably would do a solid cut let's say we wanted to mill so we'd want to mill with let's say um, like a negative five depth clearance, fine, three. Uh, don't want to go that fast, we'll go 200. Eh, we'll go 300. And then 
I would want this one to be more like 200. And I will center that. And it's a little slow because it's video recording. Um, that looks good. And then we'll generate our G code. And presto. Now let's check that that depth is correct of negative uh, 5. Yeah, that looks right because it's just below that layer. And um, just to kind of simulate this one, all right, we go up, we're milling. Let's zoom in a little there just to see how tiny those lines are. Keep in mind that when you import the SVG, it does not create any curves. It does have to render everything to lines. Uh, but that's not too bad. I mean, the G code was only 63 kilobytes, so frankly, that's pretty awesome. Um, so let's stop that. The bottom, let's say then that you drag that in, and then you also want to, well, I guess that was the bottom, and then this is the top. So there's another G code file just randomly grabbed off the internet. Uh, I grabbed some other ones just to sort of test it out. So like a little, let's see, what did we have here? Yeah, like this cat. So I'll grab this and I'll download it for you. Because I want to show you what you may have to do in Inkscape to get this to work. So get cat one is what it's saved as is right here and then I'll drag that in okay so we're dragging that in and notice it didn't render uh, there's an error that this spits out right here you have an SVG file that has groups please go back to your SVG editor and remove all groups to flatten so the one you know downside or limit is that you have to make sure there's no groups so I'm going to just open this into Inkscape which can sometimes be slow. And I'm just going to select all. Let's zoom in. And I'm going to ungroup. Okay, now let's select all. Let's ungroup again. Sometimes it just goes that way. And you can kind of see that there's all those other pieces. So now I'm going to save this. Actually, I'll just hit save. And now I'll drag it in. And presto, there it is. So not too bad, pretty good support. Um, let's uh, resize this guy again. We'll just do 100. And we're ready to go. Generate the G code. Let's go a negative 10 on this one. There we go. I gotta turn off the import to get those control things to go away. Yep, and there's our beautiful path from an SVG. Um, so have fun with this, folks. It's again, it's in the Tiny G staging, and it's the SVG import. All right.